In this video, we are going to show how to create multiple virtual hosts automatically using the vHost automation tool. This is the first page you'll see after saving the product on your server. Here, you need to enter the license key. After that, click on the login button. This is the dashboard of the tool. These are the prerequisites that you need to get done before starting using the tool. After that, you need to configure an email address on which you would like to receive the notifications of virtual host creation. In the first field, enter the email address. In the second field, enter your email app password. Then enter the appropriate host name, encryption type, and port number. Once done, click on the set up your account button. If everything is correct, then a test email will be sent out to the configured email address. Here, you can see the email we've received. Next, there is a section called Currently Installed. Here, you will be able to see all the active domains created by this tool so far. Right now, it's empty because we haven't created any domain. In the View History section, you can see all domain creation activity done either by manual or automatic virtual host creation. Since we've done nothing so far, it's empty. Now, we'll create a default domain for the current web page. For this go to the Automatic Installation section and enter only one domain in the vHostName field. Also, make sure the default website checkbox is checked. Once done, this IP address will automatically change to the default domain. Click on Create vHost Script to proceed. This is to confirm that the provided domain name is valid. In case the domain name is invalid or already used, then you will see it in the respective section. Click on the Continue with Valid Domains button. And that's all you need to do. Within a few seconds, a new domain with an SSL certificate will be created. Click on the HTTPS URL button to check the domain. As you can see the domain is successfully created. On refreshing this page, you will see that the default website is also connected to the IP address. Now, we'll create a virtual host using the manual steps. In the domain name field, enter a subdomain. This is the default path you can change if you want. And last is to check the Enable HTTPS option. Then click on the Create vHost script button. Since it's a valid domain, click on the Submit button. Now, copy this command and paste it into PuTTY. Click on Next and then copy the second command and paste it. Click on Next and copy the last command and paste it. Click on Next and within a few seconds, your domain will be up and live. These are the optional steps in case the virtual host is not created yet. Since our domain is live, we won't need them. Now, we'll create multiple virtual hosts for subdomains automatically in bulk. In the first field, enter any many subdomains you want. We've given a default path, you can change it if you want. Then there is a checkbox for automatically enabling the SSL. After that, click on the Create vHost script button. All provided domains are valid, so we can proceed by clicking on the button below. Here, you can see all domains that are in process, HTTP, and HTTPS URLs. Also, the time when domains are going to be created. If we click on the first link, you'll see it's already been created with HTTPS enabled. Now, we'll check another link from the list. And as you can see it's up and running. In the currently installed section, you will be able to see all domains that are installed through this software. In the View History section, you can check the created websites, date, IP address, and even uninstall them. For example, we are going to uninstall this subdomain. Currently, you can see it's active and live. Now, we'll click on the Uninstall button. Immediately, you get the confirmation of uninstallation. And on refreshing the page, you can see the website can't be reached anymore, which means it's uninstalled. The uninstalled website is also removed from the history list. 
In case you entered the wrong website or a domain that is not connected to the DNS or a domain that is already created then you will be notified before proceeding further. Just like this. In the FTP client, you can also see all folders of all websites created so far. In the email inbox, you will be notified of all activities. Like uninstalling a domain and all newly created websites. You can also check them using this link here. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.